Why is farmers non-renewing your homeowner's insurance? I'm Justin. And I am Aaron. And this is Insurance Hacks, where we use our considerable years of insurance knowledge to help you hack your way through the jungle, which is the complicated, complicated world of insurance today. It's only so, getting worse. Uh, it just continues to. We made these videos and we're like, hey, should we keep saying the same things? But it's not the same things. It's new things every day. So let's yeah. talk. Farmers? Farmers. Farmers. So farmers. Going through some changes. It, it is. so. Farmers is non-renewing their clients' homes if they don't have auto with the carrier. Aaron, why are they doing that and what does it mean? Plain and simple, they're doing it because those clients are loss leaders. You have to remember, insurance companies are a business. They have a board of directors, they have a president, vice president, all sorts of different employees. They are a business and much like businesses like Tesla or Microsoft or Apple, they're not going to survive if they do not turn a profit. Now, the good news is they don't aim to turn much of a profit, but they are not turning any right now. They're taking big losses. Farmers has been running a combined ratio of 120% or more. So do they want to lose these people? In a way, yes, they uh -huh. do. They want to lose them if they're not going to play ball, if they're not gonna play by farmers' rules. You have to remember, insurance is a law of large numbers business. It would not exist if it were not for pooling risk together. You can't afford to pay for the insurance for your house by itself if nobody else buys insurance. Right, you would be paying the same as you pay for the house more or less, right? Yeah. So what this means is that on the consumer side, there has been a lot of flexibility in purchasing insurance in the past. You could do it whatever way you want. I think those days are coming to a close. It's been very competitive. For it the has. last 10 or so years, carriers have continued to add coverage, compete for rates. Maybe not coming to a close. There will still be competition, but we're seeing the market level out and they're removing some of the things that have been able to be done before. Yeah, previously bundling is has been a suggestion a marketing ploy to try and get you to do more business with them at this point we are in an, in a place in the insurance market where bundling is a necessity if you want to get the best rate you need not to even not even the best rate if you want to get a homeowner's policy you're going to have to bundle especially here in north texas now if you're in some state where you don't have any issues <laughs> Good for you. All you Arizona, New Mexico <laughs> folks, we're looking at you out there. Yeah, totally. But, you know, really, it, it's become that kind of market. And understand that what a lot of consumers have approached it really in a piecemeal sort of way. The companies no longer want it. They want to have the risk where they want it and the way they want mm -hmm. it. And so they're controlling the market in which way they can. Mm -hmm. It's a business. Now, yeah. is it going to be expensive forever? Well, yes, that's what insurance is. But hopefully they'll be able to do some of these things and equalize out so it'll get back to what it once was, five, maybe 10% rate increases yeah. a year. Farmers is finding their way back to profitability right now because they need profitability to become, to continue to be a stable long-term business. Farmers have been around for absolutely decades. So right. it's absolutely a company that is going and to continue to stand. Great company and we need them to stay around. Yeah. But you as a consumer need to understand things have changed. How you approached insurance is not what the insurance companies want anymore. Mm -hmm. So really, I would suggest that you go out, find a good agent. We happen to be wearing the shirts from a really great agency that can help you out. But go out and find an agent who can help you navigate this. It is a time like I've never seen. And I've been doing this for quite some time. Yeah. So. Yeah. It, it is time for you to kind of reevaluate the way you're approaching your insurance and understand no one's doing anything to you. They're doing things so they can stay in business and continue to provide you policies. So if Farmers is non-renewing your homeowner's insurance, you really only have a couple of options. One, go ahead and give them your auto insurance as well. If they're really not the best rate for you, that is not a good fit for you, it would make a lot of sense, you gotta shop around. We recommend finding an independent agent. They're gonna work for you, they're gonna work on your behalf, and eventually, when competition does return to the market, they will be right there with plenty of other companies to quote with to be able to find you the best rate. Understand, we'll talk about coverages in another video, how those are gonna change, but for right now, this bundling is a big aspect of insurance. Right, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions about what's going on, please leave them in the comments down below. Maybe we'll make a video especially for you. And make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Have a great day.